software for creating and displaying multimedia, web browsers. Now, a web browser allows for users to view websites created using hypertext markup language in an intended layout in order to be displayed through the World Wide Web. So here are some examples of web browsers. We've got Chrome, we've got Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge as it's called now. We've got Mozilla Firefox and we've got Safari. It's likely you're using one of these apps right now in order to view this video, unless you're using the YouTube app on one of your tablets or phones. So as we've already mentioned here, the thing we need to understand is a web browser is displaying the site, but the site itself is not made in a GUI format. The site itself is made with codes and script, and all websites are made with HTML code, but then they can incorporate other scripts as well, as such as cascading style sheets, which allows styles to be applied to multiple web pages of a website, and PHP, which allows for forms to be created with a website. But as you can see displayed here, this is is what HTML code looks like. It uses what's known as tags and you have beginning and end tags for entering in certain commands in order to create your website. They all start off with the HTML tag which is within the triangular brackets HTML and end with the end tag which is within the brackets once again HTML but you can see the slash there. So wherever you see a slash on the tag means that's the end tag and when there's no slash that's the opening tag and pretty much all of them are paired there but not all tags have an opening and close tag. I'll just point that out now. So we've also mentioned here too that we can use other scripts. So cascading style sheets for, as we said, developing the styles of multiple changes, pages. But then the other one is PHP. And PHP is used for developing forms. And that's another big thing that we're using the internet for these days. It's the fact that we can collect data from customers or users or whatever in which they can fill in um, entry into text boxes online and then that will get stored on a business's database. So you've obviously entered in a form online before Okay, when you created an email, when you created an account on YouTube, okay, even just being a user, you entered your data into a form and then that data, once it was submitted, got stored on a database. Okay, so the use of forms online has allowed for the growth of online banking, um, e-commerce, a whole variety of different businesses because users can enter their data and purchase things online uh, in marketplaces. So it's led to great expansion and that's all through the actual web browser. Moving on from here is the use of links. Okay, web pages are created as individual pages and then we, we link all pages together, we create a website when they're all uh, contained within the same actual folder. Okay, and then through the hyperlinks, we create the whole World Wide Web because all these websites are linked to each other through hyperlinks. Okay, and obviously between them we have our search engines allowing us to find new sites and all that. But really, the use of hyperlinks and anchors for linking us between pages has allowed what the World Wide Web to actually expand. From here as well, we need to know that the web browser is displaying certain types of page layouts. Pages can be laid out in a whole variety of different ways. And once again, as we said, if we incorporate scripts, we can do new things with our web pages as opposed to when we're just using HTML code. Okay, so we might have used JavaScript to add more interactive elements into our site. Um, and as, as we've said previously, you can use CSS to style it. Okay, but yeah, we have the, all these things being displayed on the web browser, okay, in order to view the pages. And then finally is the media types, okay, and as stated, um, we are looking at this from a, the aspect of multimedia. The web browser can display all types of multimedia. So you're watching a video right now, if you're watching my YouTube video, you can listen to music online, you can view images online, you can not just view text, but enter text online, okay, and obviously animations as well are included here too. Okay, so I hope this helps you get a better understanding of what a web browser is. Now, the key thing to understand here too is a web browser is just for displaying websites. Okay, it's not for creating, although there are some sites that do allow you to create websites within the browser. Okay, but when we talk about web browsers, we're talking about the presentation of websites using HTML code and other scripts applied. Okay, 